What is up guys, the Collector19 here and today we'll be reviewing the new My Hero Academia Mina Ashido Funko Pop. So, let's go! So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I post videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays or better yet, Hit that notification bell so you will not miss any of the videos that I'll be posting in the future. Also, you can check me out in my social media accounts, links in the description below. So what we got here today is one of the new My Hero Academia Pops, 790 Mina Ashido, uh, student of Class 1A. And it's part of the new, or let's say, the second half of the newest wave of the My Hero Academia line. So here is the front of the box. Mina Ashido 790 from the pop animation line and there's a shot of Ashido there or Pinky her hero name is Pinky plus we can see Ashido through the plastic on the side we can see a glam shot of Mina's pop same stuff 790 Mina Ashido and the pop animation line logo rather on the back we can see the way where this is from I'm considering the new batch of my hero pops as the second or the second half of the fourth wave because obviously half of the wave was delayed because of the pandemic so the first half was consisted of midoriya the non-glow endivore overhaul himiko toga and kurugiri and the second half was composed of mina ashido tomora shigaraki best genius um and present mike plus i believe the Funimation Ochako. There's the wave. So, I'm, so what I'm currently missing from this wave is Tomura, Best Genius, and Present Mike. But but Best Genius and Present Mike, I have pre-orders of them from Pops.ph by Comic Odyssey. So next side we have Mina Ashido 790. Her eyes, pop logo, and on the top is the same stuff. On the bottom, the license thing, Funko logo there, social media accounts. The UPC for the pop and the production date. So with that being said, let's pop Mina out of the box. So we have her out of the box now and I gotta say that this is one of the good looking pops of the, of the latest batch of the My Hero Pops. And I prefer this over the metallic one, the GameStop exclusive. And the good thing that Funko announced a last minute change up on Mina's costume here instead of wearing the UAPE uniform, Funko changed it last minute to her hero suit. Her suit is basically a camouflage suit uh, with a different type, with the, the different colors with blue-green plus purple colors on it, a beige or cream color for the boots and there more, more color for the boots there, some maroon. And I like the pink all over the pop because that's why she's called Pinky because she's color pink. I believe her name was her rejected name was Queen Alien or Alien Queen but it was rejected so it was that's why she ended up having the pinky hero name so her quirk is acid she can basically manipulate acid or she can uh, manifest acid from her body she can use it as offense or at the, and at the same time defense she can make a barrier made out of acid to block projectiles or missiles in coming to her she can use those acid as well to apprehend villains or opponents so her quirk is dangerous it's um you basically know how, what acid does to the human flesh to walls to uh, substances in general so i think her quirk is dope it's dangerous and it's quite powerful so here is the pop i really like the translucent parts here the pla translucent plastic used for the acid. I think she can glide as well using her acid there. This is one of the pops that have a unique base to it because the base is basically part of the pop. It's not necessarily the base that you just plug it on the foot. But this one comes with the pop itself. So it's really nice. I really like how transparent or translucent the plastic is. So here is Ashido's face. I really like the sculpt of the hair. Really like the mask. The eyes are nice. The paint apps are great. I really like the pink use, the, the paint use on this pop. The pop is very co colorful. And some antennas here, if those are antennas. On the back, you can see there. Her costume is made out of, um, it's like 
um, something a dancer would wear because I, I believe she she loves dancing. I one of the episodes of the previous season or season four, she was the dance instructor for their stage presentation during the festival. There, um, really like the really like the costume. Some ruffles there, some feathers all around it. Plus the color schemes of the pop is really it's really nice. I, I dig it. And yeah, like I said, one of the best looking pops of the current releases, in my opinion. Of course, aside from the glow in the glow and devour, or glow devour as what I as what I call it, but yeah, it's it's one of the best looking pops to date. There, there's Mina Ashido. I my number I don't know now. I believe my 35th my hero pop. And yeah, I'm, hopefully we can get more of the one class 1A female characters, including um, Jiro, Kyoka Jiro, and Toru Hagakure. The invisible girl and Jiro earphone jack I believe those two are the only ones missing from class 1a until we complete the female characters of the class obviously we have Ochako we have Momo we have Suyu we have Mina very few female characters from class 1a and have you seen the latest leaks of the My Hero Academia line it, Im it includes um, Sun Eater, Limillion, I'm really surprised they didn't add Neji Rehado on the set on the leaks. Maybe she would be a future exclusive. Who knows? But I I feel it's really incomplete without Neji Re. because you basically have one. You basically have two of the top three students of UA. Then you would omit one. So I, that doesn't feel right. Maybe she would be a, an exclusive to a convention or whatnot. But hey, we, we need them. We need her. We need her. We need the top three of UA. Season 5 will pretty much come out next month. So I'm pretty stoked for that. And I'm pretty stoked for the new set of the My Hero Academia Pops. A very cool pop. Good looking pop. I really like the color. I really like the hair. The skin tone. The skin tone is very nice. All colors complement each other. So yeah, there's that. Plus this translucent plastic here. I really, I really dig it. I really like the regular version over the metallic one because the metallic one is somehow, I don't know, pointless. I don't know why they have to make her metallic, some Funko Pops metallic, even though they don't look metallic in the show or in general. But yeah, it's really dope. Probably one of the best My Hero Academia Pops to date. So there you go, Mina Ashido, Quirk is Acid, and her hero name is Pinky. So that's pretty much it guys for this review of the Mina Ashido Funko Pop, one of the latest releases by Funko. A part of the second half of the fourth wave. I would like to call it the second half because I've explained it earlier so just go back if you want to hear it again. So if you're wondering why I'm holding this up here, I'm holding the pop here because when I place it down, you can barely see her. So there, the glare of the ring light is on the plastic. So you. I'm just holding her like this. So like I said guys, that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me and for supporting this channel. I'm really looking forward to more collaborations in the future on and off the PTVC group. And yeah, if you wanna do a collaboration, do a podcast about My Hero Academia, Marvel stuff, the WandaVision series, you can hit me up on my social media accounts. Once again, the links are in the description below. And yeah, if you want to do a collaboration, uh, let's talk about it. Uh, let's make a good concept about it. And hey, who knows? So for the third time, this is pretty much it for the video, for the review of the Mini Ashido Funko Pop. Once again, one of the best looking pops to date. If you, if you want to get her, get her because it's your money's worth. Because um, the detail is nice. The color scheme is really dope. And hey, it's a My Hero Academia Funko Pop. I mean, if you're a fan of the show, it's a must cop. So yeah, that would be it, guys. Once again, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. 
and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will always be notified every time I make an upload. So this has been The Collector and this has been Mina Ashido. Thanks for watching, let's collect plus ultra and I'll see you in the next video.